mermaids and thank you for tuning in my name's Kelty if you're new to my channel I'm a lover of fitness adventure puppies, caffeine and primarily athletic wear fitness clothing yoga pants pretty much anything that you can work out in lay around the house in and go to brunch is what I'm all about I love to bring you guys some reviews and comparisons so you can be confident and feel good when you work out see the best workouts because let's be real motivation is meh. what's really motivating is new workout clothes that make you feel hella good that's if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about this, feel free to hit subscribe and thank you for everyone who's been here to subscribe to this channel and all my mermaids were taking off and it's so exciting so thank you. Anyways, enough of my rambles, let's get to the goods. I've been reviewing some comparison videos so kind of showing you guys like the main fitness athletic wear brands and comparing their different items so you know which would be best for you, different activities and all that kind of nonsense on the menu today is the Gymshark Seamless Sports Bra in Charcoal against the Nike Combat Pro Sports Bra, which is kind of like the cliche Nike sports bra, and this is probably the most popular. The Gymshark, so I thought they'd be a good comparison. If you follow me on Instagram, I compared these and also included the Energy Bra, which I'll be doing as well, which I consider like the staple Lululemon bra, but that's for another video. So let's get this party started. I'll start with Nike, because that's a bit more common, I would say. Gymshark's kind of well known in like the Fitspo Instagram scene, but outside of that, it's not as well known. Nike, of course, is the number one selling athletic wear company on earth. Uh, if you want to see a company that dominates Let's go look at the shoe market, like the shoe market, not that running shoe market. I mean, just like, just shoes, Nike, just. The Nike Pro line or Combat Pro is kind of their staple athletic wear. It's got the four way stretch, so it's gonna stretch in every wear. It's sweat wicking and it's reasonably priced. It's not their higher end, which I do like. Of course, that's a cool thing about Nike. It does have a bit more of a lower end as a mid range and then it has their high end. Same with Adidas and like a company like Gymshark, which is just gonna be middle range or a Lululemon that's just high range. It's kind of got a bit of whatever fits the bill for you. The Nike Pro line to put in context is, give me, give, give me a second. You've probably seen the shorts. Everyone has them, they're all over Instagram. I will do a review on these as well. These, these are buds, they go together. The material, 88% polyester, 12% spandex. So the spandex is gonna what, kind of give it that bit of a silky feel in a way. The polyester is gonna add to the sweat wicking as well and the stretch in all four directions. Now these range usually around 30 to $50 depending where you get them. So I'd say budget in about $40, you can get these on sale and they come in a bunch of different colors. These are more of a compression feel. So if you want some Something that's gonna compress you in for a bit more mid to high impact activities. That's what these are great for. They're very versatile. The only issue is, yes, if you're quite busty, so a D cup or above, you'll notice there is next to no padding. And that also means, yes, they're prone to show a little bit of nip. It is thicker than a lot of other materials or cheap. It does have the double band around it and they have a thick band at the bottom. So it usually helps hold you in place and also the band doesn't pop up as well. It does have a higher neck scoop, so you're not gonna worry about spilling over top, which is really nice. Um, that's something actually Lululemon isn't as great for, for the energy bras. The scoop is quite low, so it can show off quite a bit of boob versus this bra, but we're not talking about Lulu right now. So that is great. These are awesome. I found no pilling in this. You'll notice literally none, and I've worn these maybe you know, two to three times a month for the last three years or so. Like This is an old bra. You'll notice there hasn't even been any breaking of the check mark that typically does happen as you can see here depending on your size that is the one downfall to a lot of Nike is it's just silk screened on like that so it will tend to break over time but I find it tends to go in the dollar wear so if you buy something fifty dollars it takes about fifty wears till that starts to break on average this is a staple bra I would consider. Get this in a neutral color, see if you like it. It's gonna hold you in. It's great for weightlifting, running. You can use it for yoga. You don't need something quite as high impact. You can get a lower impact bra for that. It's gonna be great for your CrossFit. It's just a very versatile bra and it comes in a bazillion different colors. Now some people don't like it because depending on how big your shoulders are on top, it can be quite tight around the shoulders and neck because it is quite compression-y feel and tight. That's how it's meant to be. You don't wanna get this one aside is too big to combat that because ah, irony for the day. Because it will just have no support at all. You do want it to fit tight. There is that. Next up is the Gymshark Cliché Sports Bra. So Gymshark is an online company, so you're just gonna be able to get stuff when they release it. They have some stuff in their store year round, but it's kind of release, sell out, release, sell out, but they're not like you can buy them in a store or anything. I honestly love this bra. This is one of the comfiest bras I wear, and I wear it around the house and just like as a leisure bra. I think it's really cute. 
and it's super flattering which is nice you'll see just how the cuts are it adds a bit of design without being too much in your face like bondage type bra what i love is which both these bras actually do a pretty good job of is it loops around here so we all have armpit fit that just kind of hangs out no matter how we all got it this does a good job of hiding it it's the same scoop length so it's not gonna be too booby and about the same band now the problem about this band you'll see it's kind of built in elastically like that. It does do a good job holding in place, but if we compare it to a thick one like this with the Nike, that's an actual like elastic built in like that, this is gonna do a better job and not wear out as fast. Versus this will probably wear out fast, especially if you get a size too big. It's just gonna have that pull and it won't go back into place over time. Same idea with the silk screen on there. I've worn this over 30 times and it has not broken, so that's a great job. This is a small, this is also a small, and they fit the exact same. Of course, they fit the same, but this one's gonna feel more compression-y. This one's just gonna feel a bit more looser and a bit more comfy. Kind of like, think of a cotton t-shirt bra, it just kind of sits there and just forms to you. I'm a 34B, fake. <laughs> so to take that into account for sizing, they are true to size. I'd fit like a six in a Lululemon. So that would be a four, would be their extra small and so on and so forth. Color selection on this is quite poor. They usually only have one to two. They release a few colors when they have the releases, but yeah, I know you're not gonna grade as selection. This is technically cheaper, but you'll probably end up paying a lot more because of duty if you're from Canada or States. If you're from UK or Europe, you're gonna have to pay those duties. So it's gonna be on par. They do come with the built-in padding which is kind of cool, like right in there. So that's gonna stop from nibbleitis hitting you. It is not gonna be as good for, I would say like a higher intensity. It'd be great for weightlifting and you could probably use it for running if you're on the smaller, maybe an A to B cup. But if you're in a C or D or higher, I wouldn't recommend this for high impact activities. For yoga or something like that, it would be perfectly fine for that as well. If you're gonna be doing a lot of jumping and you are bigger chested, it's not gonna really hold you in place versus this would. Neither are very high impact bras for bigger cup sizes or D and above, I wouldn't recommend I will do a video recommending my favorites for bigger chested, higher impact. But for now, we're just gonna do the most common ones just to compare those two. So overall, for comfort and aesthetic, Gymshark wins actually. But for actual performance, versatility, workout, versatility. Did I say that right? Workout, versatility. 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 Workout, versatility. It's definitely gonna be this, you're gonna get a lot more uses for it, it's gonna be more compression, you're gonna get a lot of different colors, and it's actually cheaper when you break it down because you're not gonna have, like, you have to pay any duties because Nike's everywhere. Which works best for you? Are you caring more about how to look on Instagram and the picture and comfort around the house, lower impact activities, higher impact activities? You know, you just want a sturdy bra that you can use, and it still has aesthetics, don't get me wrong, it's just a very plain bra, which we all need a plain bra in our closet, but if you want a staple, I'd go with this, and then the Gymshark one's a bit more of a fun purchase afterwards or for lounging around the house. Show. Sure. There's that. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, my fellow mermaids, if you like this and you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe and join our little mermaid tribe we have going on. If you've tried either of these sports bras, comment down below your thoughts on them because I love how we can get a conversation going and get some second opinions aside from myself because every single body type is different. We all do different activities. It's great to get some insight from each other and I love it and communicating with all you guys. So thank you for tuning in. Like always, I hope to see you guys very soon. Have a great day.